YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am. Man, man, ground hard. Checking in again with another video. Look, today I'm going to give y'all a secret. Now, this video going to piss a lot of people off that does this, but I don't care at this point because I've been playing a lot of part. Today I was streaming. If you hadn't followed my stream, make sure you follow my stream. Link down below in the description. As well, if you really rock with me, you can go over there and subscribe, get your emotes or whatnot. Come turn up with your boy. Anyway, listen. Today I'm gonna give away one of y'all little park seekers, right? This is for the players that run twos and threes 24 seven and you think you're good, but you really not. You just know stuff about the game that other people don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the code down to y'all today. I'm gonna give y'all the secret on why these playmakers are shooting like sharpshooters, all right? Now, I've said this before on stream before when I got mad, you know, and I shouldn't have said it, but I said it so I was like, look, I might as well tell the people that's follow me on YouTube that's not following me on Twitch. All right, the reason why these playmakers are shooting like sharpshooters right now is not because they find a good shot or they know they shot or none of that. It's because of the pick and roll maestro badge. For any archetype, I don't care what archetype you are, get the pick and roll maestro badge for bronze all the way up into Hall of Fame. If you can get it on bronze, it's just as good as having it on Hall of Fame. Now, because the screens are so broke this year, it's easy to run into a screen. It's like it just warp you into the screen. Now, if you have the pick and roll maestro badge on any archetype, let alone have it on Hall of Fame with a playmaker, if your defender runs into a screen, regardless of who said it or when they said it, your shot nine times out of 10 will be green, regardless whether you're taking a fadeaway shot, drifting shot, dribble pull up, or just a regular standard jump shot. Your shot will be green. Now, listen. This is proof. Have you ever noticed if you're playing against a playmaker and you just leave him wide open without nobody screening you or you running around chasing him? Nine times out of ten, he missed unless unless he know his shot or he's in the corner. You know, but if he's not in the corner and, and he don't know his shot, nine times out of ten, without a screen, that playmaker is useless. Now, the reason why I'm dropping this video now is because it's about to be passed. You know, so I'm going to just have fun with it now. Everything broke in the game, have fun with it now. Because once they pass the screens, it's not going to be as easy for whatever position that you're playing with for as the centers or the stretch bigs, regardless of whatever the position is. It's not going to be as easy for you to set screens, you know, because you're going to really have to set a screen and then the playmaker is going to have to lead you into the screen once they patch it. Now, if, if the playmaker is still good enough to dribble and lead and make you run into the screen, then GG, you still going to be getting beat by playmakers shooting like sharpshooters. But if these playmakers have no dribble moves, then they really need screens, then it's going to be dead. Then this whole video is pointless. But again, the reason why these sharpshooters, and I've seen slashes even do the same thing. When you're playing with these playmakers, you pull a lot of bad shots because you feel like you a shooter because the last play, your, your guy ran into a screen. If you avoid the screen, if you avoid the screen while playing defense and let that sharpshooter with that playmaker shoot, nine times out of ten, he's going to miss it because his, his, his shot, his regular standing shot is not that high. But with the screen, it is hella boosted. I don't know why, but it's boosted. Then let alone having pick and roll. You got to think, when you're doing certain stuff on the court, when you make hella badges activate, you increase the percentage of your shot. Now, I already know it's going to be some soft people in the comment section get mad right now. Like, oh, you the reason you everybody play the same, this and that, blah, 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 blah. Listen, by no means am I promoting setting screens. I'm just telling y'all why and how y'all are getting beat. Now, if you go out and play park, right, and you still getting beat after I'm telling y'all that if you avoid the screen and you just switch that nine times out of ten, that playmaker is not going to shoot like that, that is your own fault. That is your own fault. I'm giving you a key on how they shooting like that or how you can shoot like that as well as telling you how to stop it. You know what I mean? It'd be different if I were telling you how to do something and not telling you how to stop it. It can be stopped. I did it on stream today with my center. I went on a 25-game winning streak. As soon as I let the guy know who I was running with, look, this is how you stop the pick and roll. We went on a 25-game winning streak. Quick. Easy. Play hella play, Mac. We played all type archetypes, and everybody ran screen. And we shut all that shit down. 25-game winning streak. Easy. You know what I mean? So if you know how to stop it, then it, it, it shouldn't be a complaint. Now, a majority of y'all claim to be elite players in park anyway. 
this is stuff you should already know. I'm just looking out for people that's not elite and they're trying to get on that level. I feel like it makes 2K in in general more competitive rather than just having a few people that run around and can't be beat because they send the screens all day. I'm telling you how to stop it. I told you how to get badges. I'm telling you how to stop them now. All right. So look, that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Shout out to everybody that's salty right now. Shout out to everybody that appreciate the tips and tricks. Hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to stop grinding. 97K right now. We're on the road to 98K. Overall, we're on the road to 100K, man. I'm trying to hit before the week is up. So, look, you like this video, leave a like. If you don't agree with it, leave a dislike. It's all good. We steady grinding, man. Man, man, grind hard. Checking up out of here.